Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. We are back with more. Osiris New Dawn, the Discovery Update. And in the last episode, well, we finished it off with me showing you guys where a whole crap ton of nodes were. So if you're wondering where something is, go and look for it. There's a few we didn't get to. But as we come across them, I'll call them out with the longitude and latitudes. But our whole point was trying to get this bad boy upgraded. We want... The tool station upgrade. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So we've got... Oh, my God, and I can make one. Diamond chisel, 10 hardness. Oh, yeah! What is this? Mechanized and indestructible multi-tool needed for repairing anything. Ooh. I have gunmetal. I don't have a battery. A regular battery, though. I haven't seen where you make those yet. See, so I've got the uh, power cell here. Well, we might have enough to get a robot going here soon. But what else? So we've got shears. Okay. Botan botanomy. More likely than not, that would be when you build your dome. And then, our, of course, our spanner thing here. Gunmetal is easy enough to come across. So here, to make guns, we need to get talonite. And that means chromium. I have no idea where chromium is. I haven't mined it once. I have none of it in any of, any of my inventory. Carbon. You know what? That's what we need to do is go find carbon. Which sucks. I th think... Oh, God. I don't remember where it is. Need to empty my inventory before we take off, though, because I always seem to just... Well, one of the things is all the crates that you guys see around, right, as you deconstruct things, those crates respawn. So if you don't get rid of them, they will respawn and give you... Uh, they constantly give you stuff. Sorry. All right. So now we should be able to... What does that look like? Ooh. So, I haven't talked about skills in a while. So as I've been going through and unlocking things, everything has been about... Um, here, durability usage, right? Making it so everything lasts as long as possible. And then over here is everything salvaging as quick as possible. So we just need to get better equipment to salvage. But yeah, we got to go get carbon. And again, I showed where that was in the last episode. That's one that's in two or three different spots. And it's black as pitch. And it's out here on the edge somewhere. I just don't remember where. So again, we'll be running. I've done like five circuits of this stupid thing now. <laughs> but it's all good. All right, so there it is. Carbon, which is a low-density material, but takes um, it has a 10 hardness. Doesn't really make any sense. None of them do. None of them are really rated on a hardness scale. I'm sure that's because of balance right now, but...
here we go. Uh, 4.3 degrees la uh, latitude. Negative 7.6 degrees longitude. I'm gonna get a bunch of this because I think we need this for like everything. Oh, bug. Scared the crap out of me. And anytime you get a chance to come back to areas you've already been in, check to see what you can take. Another one of the fuel cells. That's nice. Ooh. What is it that he needs? Yeah, he needs that damn Talonite too. Damn it. I don't really see the point in the handheld scanner now that we have that thing up in our right hand corner. Always leave the waters in when I've got extras. Good news, we can finally make steel. We're gonna work. Solar panel. Wire and glass. All right. So we're going to make a solar panel. Then we're going to make Kim Station. But you need the small solar panel small solar panel to to um run the chem station and the printer okay we got everything we need for our, our chem station I guess we'll put it over here. Oh yeah, we got plenty of range for our purposes. So, uh, Kim Station. Let's see what this builds, or lets us build. Rubber, plastic, adhesive, okay. Explosive. Okay, so we have to do the liquid tank and the gas tank before we can build, start building our habitat. Actually, you know what, folks? What I'm gonna have to do here is I am going to have to deconstruct everything and move it over to where I'm going to build my base since we're at the point where I can start putting that together. I guarantee you inside in the manufacturing, inside the base, that will make a lot more things. So I'm going to move my base. And then when we come back, I'll have a new base set up and we'll do uh, the gas machines, all that stuff. That was a short episode, so... Either I'll cut to that, or I'll see you next time. Alrighty, folks, we are back, and I am ready to keep building. So, what I told you guys before, I was going to move my base. The base has been moved. Got power, right? Yeah. No upgrades on that. So, up next, we're going to be gas tank.
and a liquid tank. Always want those little screens sticking towards you so you can see what's up. All right. And you may be asking, well, why did you do all this? Well, that is because our next step is right there. I need more steel and I need more copper. I'm going to have to make a lot of steel, looks like. We'll do that in the next episode. The only problem I'm having right now is deciding on whether or not I should build the printer. I think I've got everything, but I've only got one Talonite. And I don't know if I should save that because I might have to use it to build... Uh, the fabricator, which would be the same, it does the same basic thing as the printer and the forge, because the forge high precision machine module to uh, forge to allow the creation of firearms and ammunition. So in the old build, it was just the ammunition. And I can do this right now, but then again, I've only got just this one Talonite. And I learned the hard way that when you move upgraded things, you lose your upgrades. You just get the basics from what you first got here. At least that's what happened. That's why my forge, little forgey thing ain't up here, because I don't want to try and refill that again. But come back next time. We're going to build our habitat. So keep your heads down. You're Diamond Ice Picks of Doom up and all. See you again real damn soon.